Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this heavy duty hoist by Bulldog Winch. This is a nice aluminum construction hoist, uh, so it's going to be very lightweight and uh, strong, able to uh, be mounted on your wall or floor of your garage or shop so that you can lift and hold heavy objects such as engines or garage doors. It can also be mounted onto beams, crane arms, or your trailer if you're wanting to pull your trailer or your car up onto your trailer. You will just need a mounting plate which is sold separately, but lots of different applications for this. Uh, it does have a one horsepower 12 volt DC permanent magnet motor, so it's gonna uh, give you a nice solid uh, drive. It's got a all steel three stage planetary gear train with a gear ratio of 187 to one. So it's gonna have a nice powerful fast and safe line pull. It is rated for 800 pounds of uh, static load when you have a single layer of rope wrapped around the drum there. Uh, so 800 pounds of uh, lifting strength. Uh, as far as our line pull speed, it is going to be about 15 feet per minute uh, with no load on it. And that's gonna take about 25 amps. Uh, it is going to have 10.8 uh, feet per minute speed if you have that full 800 pound load on there, and that's gonna take about 60 amps of power. This does also have the automatic double cone brake uh, that's gonna hold 100% of the load as soon as the engine stops running. Uh, so it's gonna automatically kick in and hold that load tight. So you're not gonna to have to worry about uh, any line feeding back out, uh, losing your load or anything like that. We do have this rubber handheld remote uh, with a 20 foot lead that's gonna allow you to operate the hoist from a safe distance so you don't have to worry about anything falling on you. A uh, very simple operation in and out there. Uh, this is gonna be weather resistant so it's got a nice rubber cover on there to make sure that even if you're using this outside in the rain or something like that, you'll still be able to operate that without any problems. It just plugs in right up here at the top. So when you're not using it, you can just put that cap on save a little bit of space, store this elsewhere, and when you're ready to use it, just line it up, plug it right in, and you're ready to go. We also have this 3 6 inch, 3 16 of an inch diameter HMPE synthetic rope. Uh, this is gonna be very strong, it's actually stronger than steel, but it's extremely lightweight and safer to handle, so uh, with your uh, wire ropes, sometimes if they start fraying, you can uh, get your finger caught on there, uh, get a really nice uh, splinter in that metal as it starts to, to fray. Uh, with this synthetic rope, even if it does start to fray, uh, it's going to be nice and soft. You're not going to have to worry about that. Another benefit is uh, with wire rope, if it were to snap, that's a very, very dangerous situation. With the synthetic rope, it's not going to be nearly as dangerous for you if uh, this were to snap. Of course, your load would still fall, but the, the rope springing back at you, whipping you, isn't gonna be nearly as dangerous uh, with this synthetic rope. And it is very lightweight, so it's gonna help uh, with our mounting locations so that uh, we're not gonna have to worry about the weight capacity of all that metal wire in place. Uh, this is 50 feet long, so we're gonna have lots of length there. It does uh, do a good job of making sure that uh, our load is gonna be supported as we uh, unspool it and then pull it back in. Our drum dimensions that this is wrapped around, it's right about two and three eighths of an inch in diameter by five and a quarter of an inch long. You can see we also have this heavy duty CNC machined belay aluminum Haas Fairlead. Uh, this is gonna help ensure that our synthetic rope is not gonna fray uh, on sharp edges. It's gonna give us a nice rounded uh, opening there. So. We don't have to worry about uh, friction damaging our rope. It's gonna give us a nice smooth edge. And then of course we do have our half inch steel hook plated with a zinc dichromate. Uh, that is gonna be included so that we can get that connected onto whatever it is that we're trying to hoist. On top here you can see we do have our sealed contractor that's gonna transmit our uh, power from our uh, rechargeable automotive battery to our hoist. Uh, this is recommended to be used with a 600 cca size battery. Uh, very easy to get that installed with our um, 
wire leads here. These are about five and a half feet long, so it should be pretty easy to get hooked up to your battery. And they are a two gauge wire. Um, this housing is a IP67 rated, so it's gonna work even if you are out in the rain on a trailer, that sort of thing. It will hold up well, protect all of that. Uh, you can also get a wiring kit that's sold separately that's gonna kind of extend your connections here so that if you were wanting to mount this somewhere not on the hoist itself, uh, you can extend those out to give you a little more options as to uh, where this is mounted. This does have a duty cycle of two minutes on and then 15 minutes off to let it cool down so that it doesn't overheat. Uh, as far as our dimensions go, when you're thinking about where to mount this, uh, it is right about, I'm measuring from uh, right around where this is gonna stick out once we're using it and we have it installed. I'm gonna say it's right around 17 and a half inches in total length to make sure that we have enough room uh, for our uh, remote to plug in here. Uh, our width, we're looking about right about five inches. Uh, again, making sure that we have enough room for our cables and everything. And then our height, again, we're looking at where this connects and it's right about eight inches, call it about eight and one eighth. So uh, rough estimates there to make sure that this is gonna fit in your setup. It is extremely lightweight. It's only about 26 and a half pounds. Uh, so the combination of that aluminum body and the synthetic rope is really gonna make this very versatile and where you can mount this. Uh, as far as getting it mounted, you are gonna need to know the mounting feet measurements here. So this is approximately six and five eighths, just over six and a half inches from center to center across. And then our width, we're looking at approximately three inches, again, center to center. So uh, like I said, there is a uh, mounting plate if you're wanting to get this mounted onto a uh, beam or crane arm or trailer, uh, but if you're just wanting to get it straight mounted, uh, that should be sufficient for you. They do include some hardware for you uh, to get everything put in place. Uh, so overall, I think this is going to be a really nice option uh, if you're looking for a light, uh, pretty strong uh, hoist. This is going to give you that 800 pounds of lifting power uh, with a very compact and lightweight package. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.